I lived in my car for about seven or eight months. No place for me to stay. I got, I got by the best way I could. In Snohomish County, a small but mighty organization is making major headway and helping folks like Dale Bellavoy get back on their feet. Because there's so many people living on the street and a lot of them, they don't know what to do. A lot of them, they're scared. Well, these three women behind the desk at the Carnegie Center can fix that. They got Dale into permanent housing. Only three of them. They're very good. They help me out a lot. Walk in, give them a ring. Carnegie Resource Center. And they'll get you where you need to go. We take 1,500 plus calls a month between the three of us. Every phone call is answered. And that does wonders for people who maybe that was the one time they got the courage to actually call. Chantel Harris tells me this past year they served 19,000 people. And it's not just about putting someone on the right path. They bring resources straight to them. Lowering barriers to access for housing, behavioral health, and medical services, providers set up shop at the center and assist as needed. During our visit, we watched Chantel help clients order eyeglasses. And it's not just what's inside this former library that's making all the difference. Location is everything. I was incarcerated right across the street. When I got released, I had nothing, nothing, no family, no friends. Drug court directed Edward Gutierrez to their doorstep. And within weeks, the progress was palpable. And it feels good to have somebody see me go from zero, you know, work my way up to 10. This is like my circle, you know, my little, what do they call my cul-de-sac. The county foots the bill for the space, private dollars bankroll the staff. So it's a private-public partnership like the King County Regional Homelessness Authority. But that entity, after millions of dollars invested and dozens hired, is on the brink of collapse. So what's the special sauce here? I was in prison for 20 months, um, addicted to drugs and alcohol. During my time of active addiction and, and going into jails and institutions, there was no Carnegie Resource Center. Um, so the fact that we're placed right next to the jail and they can walk over and seek services is amazing. We've all been on that other side. And to be seen when you feel unseen, uh, it's a big difference. Reporting in Everett, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.